Son, you've really let yourself go. It's a disgrace. But Coach Physical Instrument is going to get you back in prime condition. Huh. Even if it takes a million push-ups. Okay, that's something I don't even know about. I, I don't know what this is about. Coach Physical Instrument, does that mean you'll call me a maggot and a Nancy boy to motivate me? Yes, sir. Forge me into organic steel uh, coach. I'm gonna go with the first one first. Does a master swordsman insult his own blade? No. I'm going to turn you into an athletic benchmark, you big pussy. Yes, sir. Forge me into organic steel, coach. It's going to take blood, sweat, piss, and tears. But when I'm done with you, boy, you will be a master athlete. Wait, why piss? When a man sets his mind and body on something and gives his 110%, he is sometimes going to piss himself. It just happens. No shame in that. Let's do this, coach. I'm with you, opt-in. Behold, world. Here walks a sportsman, hands choked and hair kept back with a bandana. The homo athleticus. All right, let's see what that's all about. I. Honestly, like, I've seen the name in this list before, but I've never seen anything about this, actually. Uh, minus two encyclopedia, intense workout. Uh, research time is 40 minutes. Uh, so you were minding your own business, trying to get some detective work done, when suddenly a voice emerges from within you and told you you're a wuss, a nambi pansy, a sissy and a limp jellyfish. This voice has zero gender sensitivity, and even less empathy for underwhelming athletic performance. Try to purposefully piss it off, see if it teaches you something. Pretend you don't know the difference between a double and a single support. Uh, phase in the discipline of hammer throw. It hates that. Okay, I'm going to look into something because there are some, uh, some thoughts like that with a very short time that just reopen skill, um, skill checks. And because that's, you know, not something that's useful at this point, I just want to know if that's one of those. Because in that case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for it to become useful before I internalize it. Let's take a look. Okay, no, it's not one of those. So let's just internalize it, I'd say. It's not one that just uh, unlocks skill checks. So, yeah, then let's internalize it. I can still unlock another slot if I want to. Right, we do have something to... Uh, to do with the car, we should, you know, call uh, the Lazareth, we were told. Okay, let's take a look at this. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Main Hall Building A. An off-key melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then a woman picks up the receiver. Uh, who's Kuno? This is the police. Please open the door. Sorry, uh, I was just trying random doorbells. I didn't have anything important. Um, this is the police. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were... There's a spot of static that overrides her words. But the doorbell is broken, and the bookstore shouldn't even be on the list anymore. So I can't help you. Please don't call here again. Thanks. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. Andrew Orlando, here, SCA. You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. Just seeing the words, Andrew Orlando, gets your hackles up. Its very existence is a threat to your masculinity, to say nothing of your hair. Artemiteps, boxing for young athletes and gym. All you hear is static, but no one answers the call. 24 hour window. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens. Emma's fashion atelier. You wait for a minute or two, but all you get from the call box is silence. No one answers the call. For bronze taxi, the rest has been burned off. Looks like someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. The doorbell doesn't work anymore. Slipstream SCA. You hear static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. Hello, is anyone there? Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. 
This is a woman's voice, crackling and fragile through the uh, static. Have you come to place an order? Hold on, Tricentennial Electrics? I thought I was calling Slipstream SCA. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, can you let me inside the building, please? Um, yes, I've come to place an order. Uh, sorry, I don't actually have any business here. I thought this was... Uh, I thought I was calling Slipstream SCA. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Sorry? It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice here. It's a woman. And she knows you. Your heart beats faster. Calm down, electrochemistry. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Do we know each other? Uh, who are you? Uh, where are you? <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's me. Here I am again, crawling back into your life. I'll go with the third one, because that suggests some, some underlying issues. Michelle, just please. She stops and you can hear her breathe heavily, her breath distorted by ancient static. Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. <laughs> Hold on, tell me what's going on. What did I do? Of course I care, it's just that I've been going through some tough times. Uh, let's go with the second one. Ever since I came to work here, it's been different. As if my mind has been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? She sounds like... She's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin, as if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, water is flooding the cellar floor. Hello? Oh God, please don't cry. Hang up the call. Hello? She doesn't answer. Uh, hey, are you still there? Uh, you said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting? Um, I'm gonna go with the second one here. Silence. The only thing you can hear now Static and waves washing ashore on the bay. What just happened? Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the silent call box. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. Fuck, hang up the call. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Okay, we can try that again with a volition check, uh, and we can ring the others, but Hobocop just finished. Ah, right, that, that happens once we get out of here, so let's do that. There's Hobocop. Hobocop. Technically, you wouldn't be a cop anymore, but a hobo. That would mean game over for the cop chapter of your adventures, but who knows where the hobo part takes you. To the bar, the old l'assommoir, to the pier or the sewers, to Le Royaume, where for 300 years they interred the dead. You could plunder royalist crypts for long forgotten triple malt bourbon, then fight the Aramakan beast that lurks the bottommost sepulchres. The secrets of the city are all yours at last. And we get a reveals extra special collector's edition tear bottles on the map. More money from selling tear. Learning cap for Shivers raised to six. Okay. That is nice. I mean, our Shivers is pretty great. Uh, like, Shivers learning cap four is pretty good already. We don't really need that, but uh, it's... Wait. Uh, Shivers is here, right. Four was already pretty good. Six. I, I don't know if we're gonna fill that out, but it's still nice to have. Let's take a look at the other stuff here. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Let's try the slipstream again. I mean, we can always put another point in volition and try again. No, hold on. The last thing you need in your life is more hysteric emotions. 
Forget it. Find something else to do. We'll come back to this later. Uh, Fortress Accident, SCA. Silence. No one's home at Fortress Accident. Rabbitol Ice City, please. Silence. No one answers the doorbell. Main Hall Building B, whirling in rags. Nothing happens after you ring the doorbell. They don't want to talk to you. East Delta Pinball, entrance from Building B. Silence. No one answers your call. Let's try the empty card as well. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. He takes a step back, inspecting the other names in the list. Okay, let's take a look at this. Arudesen Gislen 8B. Again, sorry if my pronunciation is horrid. It just might be. Okay, let's take a look at that. Kuno. Let's talk to you. My morale is good at the moment, so... Kuno's got this! The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. Oh yeah! Napa comfy, Kuno! Hey kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. Um, police business. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! The children ignore you. It's love it in the dick! The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? The kid is obviously high. Stop getting high at my crime scene, stop using slurs at my crime scene, that's not how we do it. Uh, I'm afraid this, this iteration of this character is probably gonna say some slurs. I'm obviously not gonna say them, but I'm gonna pick the options with them at times. Uh, stop getting high at my crime scene. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! They pay you no heed, or pretend not to notice you. Shits himself? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener! Uh, Kim, what should we do? Are uh, you kids siblings? Kid, you wanna hang out? I'm not a narc. Uh, look, I have questions for you. Third one is the, the, the weirdest one, so I'm gonna go with that one. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Um, are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He throws another rock. He's calling us f Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! Uh, Kim, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. I see what you mean, but we've got little choice here. Uh, what forces? Uh, what forces? You will see. Look, I have questions for you. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Um. The body. What do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Uh. Kim, help me out here. What do we want to know? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Uh, do you know who he was? Uh, do you know how it got up there? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Uh, more on this later. Right now, let's talk about something else. Um, one thing I want to look at first. What does Coach Physical Instrument do? Minus Encyclopedia. Okay, so my... Physical instrument is not impaired right now, and it's only 17 minutes left. Uh, more on this later. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Yeah. I would like to. Get lost. Great. Um. You know what? Let's do that later Kuno when we have the. Uh, care. When we have the physical instrument thing done, because I assume it's going to increase my physical instrument, and um, that would be nice. For reasons. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. There's something in there, not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why, I'm, uh, why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant what do you think could be in there? Uh, keep the hunch to yourself. Uh, what do you think could be in there? Trash? Food waste from the cafeteria. They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. 
could be uh, evidence too. Yes, I feel like there's something in there. Uh, seems like a reasonable assumption. Uh, then we should open it immediately. Uh, we should open it immediately. Mm -hmm. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... No, or pry bar. We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. And he also has information. Let's try it. 17%. Let's go. Close time well. isn't happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid, but it just isn't bending. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal to bend, but it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break its resistance. Utter the power words. The fuck kind of metal is this? This is fucking shit. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. He's enjoying your little failure. He finds it amusing. He's reveling in sweaty rage on your face. Let's kick the container. Because we are definitely in a good place right now. Unsatisfying. Hurtful. You hear a ringing sound, but not quite hollow. The can seems to be full. Full of itself. Content. Happy you failed. This snickering trash container is having a grand old time. Let's hang from the pry bar with all our weight. There's a creaking sound as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron, huffing and puffing. Clearly the technique is wrong, but nothing else comes to mind. That's it, I can't pry it open. Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly not working. Soon, let's take a look at the tracks here. Whoop, what's that? Uh, smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Let's take a look at that. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 peers have walked here. What kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Uh, Lieutenant, workers' boot tracks. Noted. Okay, um, the lieutenant takes out his little notebook. Let's try the visual calculus. Odds aren't great, but... Uh... What do you think you are? A super detective? Oh, great. <laughs> You're hungover. These are just dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. Okay. Yeah, not looking great. Uh, Snake Eyes was definitely a bit overkill, but what can you do? Uh, do you, are you planning on looking at it? Uh, this winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Let's take a look at this roofing material. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. What is this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? 28% again? Do we roll another pair of snake eyes? Because it's Not nice quite. and orderly. Well laid pallets, easy on the eyes. No, there's more to this. You get this strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see. Especially the small ones. Okay then. We'll try again later. Let's take a look at the uh, greenhouse here. Someone is trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. The, uh, this kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. We'll do that in a bit. I'm quickly gonna talk to you over here. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Take one step closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. She means it. The fear is real. I just want to ask some questions. Take another step closer. I'm going for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? What are those strange words you use, girl? I come from the woods, Kutavitu. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I've seen. Don't be traumatizing here. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, this should be done five minutes, okay? 
Okay, okay, okay. In five minutes, that's done. Uh, what do we do in the meantime? Because I kind of want this, uh, you know, this uh, thought to complete first before I do anything else. Do you have anything new to say? Hello again, officer. How are things? Uh, what is this fuck the police business? Excuse me? She doesn't understand. She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. The street sign says fuck the police, pointed. Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Uh, what about the other sign? Pigs go home. Uh, who are these pigs? I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. No need to worry. We are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Uh, she leans back, shoulders relaxing. I have to run. Okay, let's see. Let's quickly talk to this guy. Welcome to Ravashol. Um, why are you addressing my partner like this? Hey, I know Ravashol, that's where we are. Um, never mind, let's keep moving. Hey, I know Ravashol, that's where we are. Don't you welcome to Ravashol me? My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. I could say, you tell him, uh, what's happening, you sound angry, Kim, uh, say nothing. Um, what's happening, you sound angry, Kim, because... This Harry either doesn't care, or doesn't understand. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Limbo? What's going on here? Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh, fucking A, Kim. I've got your back. Give the lieutenant a punch on the shoulder. Uh, well, I think we all learned something here. Smile at the lorry man. Uh, now that that's settled, we have a couple of questions, like, obviously, the first one is the right thing to do, which is why I'm not going to click it here. Um, I'm going to smile at the lorry man. I haven't learned anything I didn't know before. The lorry man shakes his head with indignation. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now that that's settled, we have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. Um, got a smoke? No. He's got a smoke right there, in his fucking hand. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. You need it after listening to his garbage. You're smoking one right now. It's my last one. Uh, you hiding smokes from me? Can I get a drag of that then? Um, you hiding smokes from me? Why would I do that? I'm an honest man. He puts out his cigarette and flicks the tiny stub toward the street. Fuck, I order. Cool, 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 rub your hands together. I changed my mind anyways. I order. What, uh, what, officer? The man looks at you coolly, noxious, affluence, wafting in the air around him. Shit. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. He gives you an ambivalently mocking half nod. Uh, what was that argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. He spits on the ground. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Change the topic. The way he says it makes it almost sound like a threat. I get it, someone has to be the unpopular guy. Uh, so you're just racist? Makes sense. Uh, to be honest, I can't really remember what that means. Please explain. On uh, second thought, let's talk about something else. Um, I get it. Someone has to be the unpopular guy. I'm not the only one. Look, 
I've read books. The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Okay, what else have you thought up? So, lately, we Occidentals have experienced an unfortunate downturn when members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for resources. Okay, and? This concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kits are showing up good lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other intruder species, too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Uh, wait, what's this cultural victory? Uh-huh, say nothing. Uh, right, I've made up my mind when I hear it. Um, wait, what's this cultural victory? It's what the kips of Boogie Street are going for, right under our noses. And the others, too, on the radio. Heard any chanson lately? Heard any mototos or leader? No. Dominating culture is how they plan to win. They say so themselves. Uh-huh. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their first place? You might end up with a new sub-race, with unknown characteristics, leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Yeah, I think I can get down with racism. Uh, yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Uh, okay, sure, whatever. I'd rather talk about something else. Obviously, in the first playthrough, I went with this one, uh, but since, um... <sighs> I'm sorry, Kim. Good. If we, the evening people, pull together, we can form a bulwark against these troubled times. Root out the forces that seek to undermine the well-being of our people. Lieutenant Kitsuragi's stern expression remains unchanged, but you sense he can't be happy about this turn of events. I just got the achievement baddest of the bad cops. Oh no, not too happy. Uh, what are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wet on your ass situation. Uh, wait, how long has this been going on then? The strike? <laughs> I'd have been at it for a while. A month, two months maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. Uh... What kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest, you were bested. See you around. Kim wants to talk to me and we have a thought. And I'm, I'm not... I, I don't think Kim uh, has nice things to say to me. And uh, that's fair enough. Let's go with the thought first. Coach, physical instrument. Okay. Wait, how did you know all those hammer throw techniques? How do you know how to hold a discus? Or the world youth record in discus? Something doesn't add up here. This mushy thing between your ears didn't know the name of the city you're in, but it comes loaded with trivia about the correct chin position of a shot put ball. Could it be that? Shut up, Namby Pamby. This train of thought ends abruptly. It's leg day. Straighten your rhombus muscle. It's shirts versus skins. Take your shirt off, Namby. Your skins. Okay, plus two physical instrument. Uh, if shirt, uh, if shirt slot is empty, then we get a, we get plus two physical instrument. Um, minus one encyclopedia. Facts are for binoclards. Okay. Well, let's go to our inventory then and uh, remove this shirt. We might have to put it on at some point again. But, uh, you know, just in case we want more conceptualization or less suggestion in case we want to fail something. Uh, but for now, let's just increase our physical instrument. Uh, Kim, 